The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, through its Project Implementation Unit, recently launched its Performance-Based Financing PBF Pilot Program in a ceremony held at the Bethel Blessings Events and Conference Center in Denring. The PBF Pilot Program is aimed at providing screening and treatment services for type 2 diabetes and hypertension and will be implemented in 17 wellness centers in a two-phase approach. Individuals who are 18 years and older will benefit from the services of screening and risk assessment, medication for treatment, and a lab test. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Jenny Daniel, said that the PBF pilot program fits in the strategic plan of the ministry to significantly transform the health system over the next decade. The ministry is happy and proud today to launch the PBF pilot project, which is an historic first in terms of healthcare delivery with the potential to have a revolutionary effect on the structure of primary health care delivery system and improve accessibility of health services as well as the quality of health care delivered in St. Lucia. Practice Manager for Health, Nutrition and Population for Latin America and the Caribbean region at the World Bank, Dr. Michel Gagnolati, applauded the efforts of the Ministry of Health in launching the PBF pilot program and says this marks a new era in how health services are financed and delivered in St. Lucia. Through the PBF, St. Lucia is making wise investments in the health sector and for the population in two main ways. Firstly, this program focuses on the NCD Countdown 2030 Agenda to achieve SDG Target 3.4 which aims to find efficient service delivery pathways and investments to accelerate reducing premature mortality from NCDs. Secondly, through PBF, St. Lucia is investing in primary health care to make the public health care network reliable and valued. This is critical because more and better financing for primary care is the cornerstone of attaining universal health coverage. Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, the Honorable Moses Jabatis, expressed how elated he was to be part of the launch of the PBF pilot program and said that the PBF demonstrated a creative and engaging way in bringing about a health sector reform. This performance-based financing project, as you have heard before, deals with the transfer of money or material goods. It means increasing the quality and quantity of services. It shifts risks, as you heard, from buyer to the provider. It causes performance to be examined and causes there to be a system of encouragement, inducement, pushing the boundary so that everyone performs better. Phase 1 of the PBF pilot program, which commenced with the provision of its services on July 3, 2023, is being implemented in eight primary healthcare facilities. La Quamingo Wellness Center, Jackmel Wellness Center, Rich Fall Wellness Center, Denry Hospital, Monrepo Wellness Center, Deriso Wellness Center, Lafargue Wellness Center, and Soufre Hospital. Thereafter, Phase 2 of the PBF pilot program is expected to commence in nine other wellness centers in January 2024. Reporting from the Project Implementation Unit within the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Funal Neptune.